Hey, Penny Fish. It is the 24th of June, 2018. And yes, sirree, the, the news. It's always the news, right? But this, this is weird, all right? Check this out. We hear a lot about, you know, they got to increase oil output because, you know, the prices are too high and everything. Which, you know, the whole oil industry is nothing, nothing at all more than the global elite, the powers that be, controlling the energy of the world. That's all it is. That's all it is. And oil is so plentiful that, I mean, literally, gas should be like, you know, a buck a gallon. It, it's just ridiculous, but that's a whole nother story. I saw this, which, you know, whatever, right? But then I saw this. Same day. Same day the Saudis announce oil production increase, there's a big oil spill in Iowa that spills 230,000 gallons of oil. 23 on the 23rd, right? Pretty nasty. The latest on the crude oil leak, right? A railroad official says 1432 derailed oil tanker cars in the northwest corner of Iowa dumped an estimated 230,000 gallons, equivalent of 870, 619 liters of crude oil, into floodwaters, some making its way to the rivers. So, 23 on the 23rd, 14 of 32 equals 46. So you got your 46, your 23. 619 is nothing less than a 69. This is one of those magic numbers that you can flip upside down, backwards and sideways, and it's the same. You understand? That's why it's there. The 69 just represents the duality of, of this world, essentially. People at war with themselves internally until they are saved. Or until they give themselves over to the world. Which is Satan, okay? I don't, you know, I'm just spewing this out, so, you know what I mean? But the spokesman, Andy Williams, confirmed the details Saturday. He said nearly half the spill been contained. Well, that's good. In the derailment site, an additional boom placed approximately 5 miles or 8.5 kilometers downstream. Okay, 8 and 5, 13, 5, 8 and 5, 18, 666, just saying. Williams had earlier said 33 oil cars derailed. Now, there's a reason that all these things get put in here. It's, it, you know, ABC didn't just, you know, make a mistake. It's intentional. It's spelling out everything that's happening. The 23, the saved, the ones that are accepting Jesus as their Savior, are separating from the 46. Okay? That's where this comes in. See, the one separating the six and the nine. You understand? The one separating the six and the nine. The six and the nine is just humanity. The internal fight. The spiritual war. The enmity. Okay? Well, Jesus destroyed that and separated his from this dualistic system. And the only reason I really know that that's what that is is because, once again, I went and did a random Bible verse, and it's just crazy. This is what came up, you guys. I can't... I, here it is. Mark 10, 6 through 9. And it's talking about, from the beginning of the creation, God made the male and female. For this cause, a man shall leave his father and mother, cleave to his wife. And they twain shall be one flesh. Do you understand? The 40s, the 23 separating from the 46. You are set apart. I hope this makes sense. And they are no more twain, but one. This is both physically and spiritually, most importantly, spiritually. You become one with Christ. The marriage. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. No man separates that. And what are we seeing? Pride, pride, pride. Man on man, so on and so forth. I'm just telling you guys, this is the end of the road. You need to realize what's ahead of you and separate yourself from this dark mess that we're in here and choose Jesus. Simple, plain, 
in your face please do it please open your bible please get esword separate yourself from this world that that's the message in that one that i got straight away this morning pretty awesome i think and i'll link everything seek jesus people time short peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places wherefore take unto you the whole armor of god 